What's up guys, EDA here and we're going to be doing a review of the Spain versus France Euro semi-final and guys, the game lived up to all of our expectations. Two of Europe's best and biggest teams fighting it out for a place in the final. It's been a good tournament, not a spectacular tournament. The football hasn't lived up to par but there have been amazing moments and this was a game with some amazing moments. So we'll review it, we'll go through it and give our thoughts and opinions on, on each of the teams. Obviously, Spain winning 2-1 goals from Yamal and Omo counteracting the opening goal from Kolo Mwani. So you had, again, France coming in, a team that is second-ranked in the world but not performing to a level that dictated such. They were struggling to score from open play. That goal from Kolo Mwani was actually their first goal from open play in the whole of the tournament. But they scored and they didn't really look overly threatening past that point. Spain took control of the game and even when they settled down and weren't as dominant as they were after the goal and after they scored, they were still a threat and they were still seemed relatively comfortable defensively, which is where you may have suspected that Spain would be a little bit weaker. But again, we'll go through the game itself. So as mentioned, ebbed and flowed in the beginning and the first half. Uh, in the period of dominance that France had, they took advantage of it. Goal from Colin Mouani was one which we would have expected a little bit more from France, constantly using Mbappe, using a central figure as a striker to generate a lot of chances. This time Mbappe turned creator, a brilliant ball out to him on the wing. He made a brilliant one which put Jesus Navas on the back foot. He didn't know where to go or when to press or what space he should be giving Mbappe. Fortunately for him, he gave Mbappe a little bit too much space and he was able to find Colin Mwani with a beautiful ball into the box and a, a wonderfully planted, planted header. I said to a couple of my friends while I was watching that that was an amazing goal. It was a beautiful goal. Uh, simple, effective, out to the wing, finding your winger, finding your most dangerous player and he plays in a beautiful lofted ball into your striker. One what France were looking like even though they haven't played amazingly, they would have a route into the final. But Spain were a problem and they were continually causing issues. Their play was just, even before the goal, their play was beautiful. Again, I think it's been spoken about previously, they've got a hybrid sense of like, still very much trying to play well and generate possession, but will more than happily be direct. And the reason that they can be as direct as they want to be is because they've got two elite wingers in my opinion, elite wingers who can do a lot of damage uh, and they're the focal point of the team alongside a brilliantly constructed midfield. So that, in essence, puts them in a brilliant position where they can fire it out to the wingers, they can use the ball retention that they have within their midfield with Rodri, Fabio Ruiz, with the likes of Dani Almo. It's, it's, they have an abundance of opportunities within their team to create and the goal from Yamal who... I'll be honest with you, it was a moment of individual brilliance, a moment of, of a star. There's no other word. He's a superstar. And it was actually quite funny going on Twitter because he had scored a similar goal against France in the un against well, when he was playing for the under-17s when he was 15. And he's 16 now, turning 17, just before the final. And what a goal. He finds himself drifting away from the fullback, comes inside, and it's magical. It's a very similar approach for the second goal, actually in terms of Yamal pulling, coming all the way inside, opening up a lot of space for Danny Almo to get the second goal for Spain and put them in the driving seat. Firstly, going back to that first goal, individual brilliance. I, I think he's next up, honestly. He's shown it consistently at a, at a young age. It feels like we've, we're, we're watching, a, obviously, quite different because Mbappe, while he was playing on the wing, always had a striker mentality, mentality about him. Yamal just feels like a, an out-and-out -out winger, an out-and-out -out wide player who brings a lot of, of life into the game. Him and Nico Williams, big, big fans. And that goal is the goal of the tournament for me at the moment. Following on from that, again, the Dani Almo goal. Similar build up, Yamal coming in, peeling inside. Fullbacks don't know where to go. Rotation in the Spain midfield and in the forward line means that positions, you're finding players in positions that you wouldn't normally expect. Defences don't know how to react. And Almo finds his way through into the box. And, and scores is slightly deflected from Kunde, but the ball was going into the back of the net. It's already found its way past the goalkeeper, and Spain were in control. France had 
possession in the second half, had a couple of opportunities, but nothing that really changed the Dow of the game, nothing that really made me think that it would be in, in major issues. Paul Mancano had an opportunity to score from a header, he didn't take it. Mbappe had a shot, it was poor to be honest with you, he should have been hitting the target at least. So overly impressed by the f- f- French performance, even though they had moments and spells, but the deserved team won. You can see here, looking at the stats, 58% ball possession, dominated there. France with higher expected goals, shots on target and big big chances. For me, the game should have really gone on the balance of, of play and the opportunities that France actually had. Should have gone to extra time, but they didn't take those chances. And Spain took their chances and had individual moments of brilliance, which we love to see. As mentioned, the early goal from Colin Mouani, with some substitutions in the game, the uh, France made three at the same time. Camavinga on, Griezmann on, Barcola on. It had a small change, but not to the level you would have expected. Giroud came on later for them as well. Again, no major impact, if we're being honest with you. I think they should have been put on someone else who's got a bit more left in the tank than, than Giroud. France were, weren't delivering or whipping in balls outside of that Mbappe goal assist that we saw for Colin Mouane's goal. Looking at the individual player ratings, again, for me, just ignoring what FootMob have put out because again everyone's going to have their their differences in opinions i again the two wingers yamal williams brilliant players love their game I, again williams wasn't as good as yamal separating from the goal i still think he was effective i've got to give my shout outs to the back four for spain as well there's been chances and, and, and times where this isn't their number one back four and still it performs still the only goal they were able to give up was, a, again, a beautiful goal from Bappe and Colomuani. So, a shout-out to them as well. The midfield three, again, of Spain. I've got to give my shout-out to them. Ruiz, Rodri, Omo, doing what they need to do. Omo, I would love to see in the Premier League. Big fan of his. And from a French standpoint, again, not as impressive. No one really stood out to me, again. Colomuani and Bappe for the goal. But they needed more. They needed a lot more. And... I think even with the way the champ set up that midfield, we've known that France have been lacking creativity in that midfield. It was probably a chance to push the boat out a little bit more than, than playing that midfield three, in my opinion. And if you are going to play a, a defensive style of a front three, I would love to see Camavinga playing. He was brought on and I don't think he had... It wasn't the right game for him to come on and kind of spark an impact. It was more for the balance of the team more than anything else. So that's been the review of the game against Spain run out deserved winners we've got the birth of a new star in in Yamal Spain will be facing either England or the Netherlands we shall see who they will actually be coming up against tomorrow we'll do a review of that game maybe a prediction video as well hopefully guys you've liked it make sure to like subscribe leave who your player of the match was in the comments as well and I will catch you guys soon